welcome to 3ds Max news for the month of April. This month we had the new 3ds Max 2023 version, with a new snapping working pivot, way faster savings, improvements on a smart extrude, new retopology, new volumes on viewport and instancing API, and way more stuff. You can see in detail on the video that I did, that will be around here, that I did covering all these new features. Multiple plugins start to give support to Max 2023. All Sivas technology suite, like Think in Particle 7 and his new Final Fluid Real Time Smoke Solver, is available for Max 2023. Tom Hudson had his Gribble plugin, V-Ray, Corona, Typeflow. You can check all the list on a stack group where Chang Son keeps all these updated. Geometry E is the modular assets collection for 3ds Max has been updated with a new web page with two new tutorials explaining how their modular assets works and they have as well new collections. Check them out on the links on the description below. Cast Studios is offering a 25% discount on all their plugins like Fusion Tool, Project Manager and Sweep Moldings and others. You have until May 31 and you can use the coupon code KSTudios Spring. Tyson updated Typeflow to 1.005, and this version is quite big. Give support to March 2023. There is a new paint birth modifier, it's awesome to scatter things. You can paint particles that can be attached to the objects you are painting or not. You have controls over quantity, scale, brush diameter, you can control the fall off, and way more. We can control all this with short keys, it's amazing. There is as well a new modifier to fix problems on motion blur when you have changing topology, you have three ways to detect this. There is a new cache bar that allows you to see the progress of the cache simulation over your timeline, awesome as well. Improvements on export particles operator and other general improvements. Typeflow, I am tired to say it, but it's incredible. Even the free version is awesome, you need to have it. A stitch generator is a script for 3ds Max that creates a stitch objects and adds an object to illustrate the hole between the stitches. This can be over selected edges, along a spline, or simply by painting them. There are two types of stitches, with a round profile or on a flat profile. They come in most used as thickness for the given type of stitch. The length of the stitches and the spacing between them can easily be adjusted, as well the rotation. And these parameters can also be randomized to create an extra layer of realism. This tool costs 29 euros. Max Plugins is a huge collection of scripts has been recompiled for Max 2023. This work is done by David Baker and he's doing all this by free. You have a donation button to help him. Corona 8 is a very popular 3ds Max renderer has been released with a Chaos Cosmos library that is very similar to what is already existing in V-Ray. There is a revamp scatter tool with much more features, a new Corona decal placement, customizable tone mapping in the VFB, a Corona slicer that this one is render based, it's not geometry based, and you can see all these new features on the links on the description. Vlad Kuleshov gave for free his very popular script Edge Runner, until now was commercial, that allowed for very interesting effects creating running elements over 3D edges, and it's using Typeflow under the hood. Connector 4 is an asset manager for 3ds Max. It comes with a free version with new improvements like a smart auto assign previous tool, more stacking options, a new view to see all external reference, and more. There is as well a paid version, including a version to control toolkit, pipeline management, and support for many cloud storages available. It's ideal for studios. Quick Light Generator is a script that is efficient in automatically creating lights in 3ds Max. It can be applied flexible in Archbeach projects while saving a lot of time for 3D artists. It's compatible with Max 2018 and higher, compatible with Corona Renderer and V-Ray Renderer, uh, the first version, 1.0, is available, it's done by Juan Hayu. And here the best section in the world, 3ds Max, it's only for Archbeath, where we talk about things done in 3ds Max that are not necessarily Archbeath, because there is a ton of things. And we will start with this video by ILM, Industry of Light and Magic, that released an interesting video talking about the work that the Generalist Department does in, on ILM. They use in a big way 3ds Max, V-Ray, Forest Pack for environments, 
And yeah, the video alone is awesome. Uh, they use as well Maya. I know different people there and I know that they use a lot of 3ds Max and V-Ray for most of these amazing environments that they do. And another video by another VFX company, Distillery VFX, that is a very recent company based in Vancouver, that they are heavily based in 3ds Max, also using Maya, creating awesome work. You have on this video a small insight of the company where they talk about his workflows using Max and Maya and Shotgrid and yeah, you will be able to see 3ds Max on a lot of the background images and they are doing an awesome work too. Marcel Haladesh talk about the workflow behind the MAV project. It's an amazing image about a Hungarian locomotive. And he's sharing the texture rigging process, the modeling, and giving some tips for beginner artists. He used 3ds Max and Substance 3D Painter, and yeah, the images alone are not in movement, but they are amazing final result. Talking about impressive images, we have Mosen Moradi, and he did this masterpiece, excellent, a uh, train, crazy train can be a nightmare or can be a dream, but it's awesome and you need to check his Instagram. It's not the first time that we have Mosen Moradi work here on this section because all what he's doing is excellent. I saw now on Instagram he posts different stuff lately and has some behind the scenes on his latest Subway project that I don't know if you remember was also amazing. He's posting some images showcasing a little uh, how he's dealing with this and you can see it's 3ds Max. Paul Neal is sharing some great feather rigs in 3ds Max using MCG because remember 3ds Max is only for RGB and you cannot animate in 3ds Max and he said that he will post a making of available soon so can wait for that, amazing work. Fabio McMenet shared this cool motion graphics presentation for the new Intel GPU lineup presentation. Fabio commented on Facebook that he used 3ds Max, Typeflow and Corona Renderer and he edited everything with After Effects. He will post a making of later on. And let's start with some free tutorials. Hollywood Illusion has published a new tutorial that explains how to create a massive fire destruction effect using 3ds Max and Phoenix FD. You can watch it on YouTube for free. Three My Starship webinar is now available on YouTube. Thomas Marron showcased how his team created modular assets in 3ds Max to be used on this massive multiplayer online roleplay game for Star Trek that has been active for over 11 years. He's talking how they have been adding more detail over these years and how they deal with some problems, how they deal with UVs. Uh, it's really interesting. It's a very long talk, but with a lot of interesting points. By the way, talking about tutorials for my Patreons only, I am doing this series of tutorials where I describe how I am doing this torne Tornado series and we will destroy all this with Typhlo. Right now I have two videos already published and I will be published, I think that five, six. They are quite long because I am going a lot in detail how I am doing this in Typeflow. I show you guys how I am iterating on my normal days working on production. They are longer because I am explaining a lot of stuff. So if you want, join me on Patreon. I have already a lot of exclusive Typeflow tutorials and I think it can be very interesting. FMX series starts in a couple of days and Autodesk will have there his vision series. We have emerging trends in media and entertainment that I think that will be very interesting. And for sure, I will not miss the talk by Sergio Santos that is called Modeling Madness Experimenting in 3ds Max. He will showcase how he used the new tools in 3ds Max to accelerate and improve his workflows. Before we end, I want to showcase that I, I create a new section on my webpage. It's called unbfx.com. You can go there. You will see that we have uh, 3ds Max news there and I will be adding content there that I will use later on my videos. When I was founding interesting stuff, I was writing this on a text file, but now I will be posting it there, so before I do my videos, everyone can be up to date with the newer stuff. You can create comments there if you found something interesting. Let me know in the comments on YouTube if you found this that can have some value, and yeah, let me know. I will keep doing it if I see that people uh, watch it and it's useful for people. So that's all for this month, a lot of cool stuff 
Again, thank you a lot everyone guys if you reached the end of the video. If you like it, give it a like, give a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe and thanks a lot to all my patrons that makes these videos possible. Without them, this would be way more difficult and it helps a lot guys. Thank you and see you soon. Bye!